Welcome folks, this new loophole by Microsoft might be the quickest method to not only just bypass Microsoft account requirement, but also lets you set up Windows 11 for the first time in under a minute with or without internet. This also lets you skip over the out of box experience crap and we won't even need bypass and error command. So what is the biggest Windows 11 loophole? If you search on Google, the bypass and error, the command is used to basically bypass or skip the Microsoft account they're closing it or they're trying to close it i don't know when this command will stop working but this video that i'm showing you guys does not use this command at all not only that i will actually log into this account under a minute so complete the setup under a minute so my setup is a virtual machine yours might be it might be a actual computer or laptop one pro tip here i want to tell everyone if you're using the computer for the first time you might not know this uh, for this method to work, you need to be able to do this command or you need to be able to press these buttons on your keyboard. So shift, function key and 10 if you're using laptop. But also if your keyboard looks like this, it doesn't have the shift on it. So this right here, the up arrow key is the shift button. So you need to do shift and function 10 key. Function 10 key is at the top here. However, some laptops will have a function key at the bottom here. You can see here there's a function key. That function key is needed to activate this button at the top. So for this button to work, you'll need to activate using this right here. So function button. So shift so it shift and F10 doesn't work for you guys. The command prompt doesn't launch. Uh, you need to be able to do shift. So this button plus the function key and then press the F10 button. So this is my setup. I have a virtual machine and I'm going to remove the network card from it. So basically it mimics uh, no internet connection scenario. So I'm going to click OK. So it has no internet right now. I'm going to connect to it. I'm going to start the timer and I'm going to start the virtual machine at the same time. And we'll see exactly how long it takes. So let me make it, I guess I can't maximize it and I am going to start the timer now click view full screen when you see the Windows logo screen you can do this shift F10 or depending on your keyboard shift function key and then F10 button so start so the command that you need to put in is start space ms dash cxh local only and hit enter and you can put in your Hashtag TNT, your username, and click next. You don't have to put a password in. So we are at 30 second mark and we are already at the loading screen for like a new user. And under a minute, guys, depending on your speed for your hard drive, it could be even quicker or it could be a little slower, but it'll be definitely under two minutes for most users. And I'm going to stop when you see that. There you go. And you can just choose your options, hit accept. So 54 is 55 seconds. For me it might be different for you guys but again i don't have internet connection i'm not connected and my account i'm going to show you guys is a local administration account and local administrator i'm going to show you what operating system i have so this is a home edition home edition 24 h2 let me now show you guys how long it takes so this took 54 seconds give or take let me show you guys how long it takes if you actually have the internet connection shut it down and I'm going to apply my checkpoint that I have that is basically a fresh install of Windows 11 and I have internet connection connected to it so I have the network card connected to it uh, folks a little heads up here the region will default to basically United States and language to English using this method and you need to use the shift F10 to launch the command prompt Without the command prompt, this method will not work. When you see the Windows logo, basically do Shift F10. Shift F10. And I can type in command. And put in my username. And that's it. So 25 seconds. I created the account and we're at the loading screen basically for this account. So I'm going to stop it when we see the 
start menu pop up then we actually logged in so i'll stop the timer here and click next accept 44 48 seconds so 49 seconds guys so under a minute well under a minute and my account is actually an administrator account you can see it says administrator account and my operating system is actually a windows 11 home edition 24h2 let me show you guys that since we didn't put a password in let me sign out and sign back in i will not need a password and that's it that's all i wanted to show you guys was that you can set up windows 11 machine home edition pro edition any edition for under basically a minute depending on again depending on your computer itself if it's a hard drive it might take a little bit longer but if it's an nvme or faster ssd it will be quicker it will be under either a minute or basically two minutes so that's all guys that's all i want to show you guys so i hope you like this video please do the like button please do subscribe take care stay safe